talk to Vic again. Hopefully she's calmed down by now. This is the same Victoria we're talking about, isn't it? Aren't you bothered what might happen if she finds him? Yeah, of course I am. But when I was in prison, did you give up on me? No, so maybe we just have to let it run its course. I know it sounds selfish, but I don't want this ruining what we've got. Do you want to stay? Well, another tear strip off both of us again, no. Wish me luck. So that tells me you're gonna need it. Oh, this is a speech about giving up on Adam, then forget it. I know you're angry and upset, but I, I swear, we're not hiding anything else. Well, we'll see, won't we? So I've hired a private investigator. So if you won't help me, maybe he can. There's right. a picture of him, which is actually on, on right. wedding day, yeah, that's him. He's a good-looking boy. Yeah, he is, he's not too bad. Yeah. Who's that with Victoria? He's got a friendly face. He's no one. And let's keep it that way, shall we? And thank you for coming so quickly. I know I blurted a load of stuff out over the phone. It probably sounded far-fetched. Uh, trust me, I have seen and heard everything. But it might be a good idea to go over some basics. Are really going to do this here? Or don't you care if people start gossiping? Um, sorry, I don't wish to be rude, but this is a private conversation. Glenn, this is my brother, Robert. He doesn't want me to find my husband. No, what I want is for you to let this go. You need to move on. But you know as well as I do, Adam made his choice, he left you. Because he had to. But I know him, and I saw the look in his eyes at the docks. When he got busted out of that prison van, he had no choice, he had to run. Yeah, because it was either that or spend years inside. Would you prefer that? Do you see what I'm up against here? Look, if this is a problem... No, it's not. But let's go somewhere we can talk in private, because nothing is going to change my mind. Have you seen him? Looks more like someone's uncle than a PI. Why don't you go check on your mum and I'll order us a couple of drinks? Well, I'll set the wheels in motion and I'll uh, be in touch soon. Well, thank you for everything. Uh, no, don't thank me yet, but rest assured, I will do whatever it takes. Oh, OK. <laughs> it's all right. Right, OK. Bye. 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 Well, that was all very cosy, I must say. How much have you told him? You are unbelievable. All you're worried about is protecting yourself. This has got nothing to do with wanting what's best for me. Vic, that's not true. None of us want to see you get hurt any more than you already have been. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe you should have thought about that before you sent Adam on the run and move both our lives. Well, how's your mum? Worrying about what reading to have at Grace's funeral. I can't even imagine how difficult that must be to deal with. But at least Sarah's come round. Now all we need is to get our Debbie out of prison. So, um, that private investigator Victoria hired, what was he saying? Did you hear anything? Just that he was going to start in Amsterdam and work out from there. He seemed to know what he was doing. And that's what worries me. I mean, what if Adam hates being on the run and he's just looking for an excuse to come back? Oh, I don't even want to think about what that'll do to Mum. She's in bits as it is. Maybe I should try my contact. Or you could call Emil, see if he can point us in the right direction. But so you want to find him now? No, I want to warn him to keep his head down. We don't need our contacts for that. What do you mean? Adam messaged me on a private account a few weeks ago. From Budapest. 